It was a beautiful morning in East Texas. The kind of morning that made you want to get up, get dressed, and test that acceleration due to gravity does not depend on an object's motion. I love Saturdays. The Earth causes the same gravitational acceleration of everything, even a doll and a flying ping pong ball. It's not often a man of science gets to say yippee ki -yay! and mean it, but... yippee ki -yay. Nothing feels better than predicting an outcome. I love predictability. The force of gravity, predictable. Nuclear fusion, predictable. My brother peeing in the shower, repulsive, but predictable. Sir, the Kobe satellite is going into an uncontrolled spin. So fix it! We can't. Our computer programs weren't designed to handle a chaotic system. Darn it! If only someone could calculate the maneuver and make it stable again. There is someone. And it's me. You're just a kid. A kid who knows to add an X-cubed term to a simple harmonic oscillator. If you extend the solar panel by one meter, you'll save your satellite. You heard him. Do it! Sir, bad news. Don't tell me. There's another problem we're not smart enough to solve. It's a satellite. The liquid helium is boiling off. Well, why the heck would that happen? I'll tell you why. The sun must be glinting off the solar panel and hitting the doer. We need to calculate all the Euler angles that would cause the sun to hit the liquid helium. Then you do it in time. I can with my new friend, Dr. John Sturgis. Hello. <laughs> Hi. He's gonna marry my Meemaw. I bought her a bicycle. A purple bicycle. Purple? Sounds like love to me.